Hi guys, today we have a very highly anticipated video. I've been talking about it in my past couple of videos. It is finally time to do the book haul since I've been in the UK. This is every single book I've bought while I've been here. How will I get it back in my luggage on the way home? We don't know. I'm going a little crazy. When I moved here, I brought these two books. Somehow we have a lot more books since then, so we're gonna get through them. And more like the first weeks I was here, I saw a TikTok about this place called The Works in the UK. It's just like super discounted like book talk books. Like pretty much everything, a lot of what's on this pile is from The Works. I went to the physical store and then I also placed an order online because they were missing a couple things that I wanted, but they were so cheap. Some of the books I got in this stack were two pounds. The first book I got was Mr. Wrong Number. It's just one of those book talk books that I've heard about so I wanted to just grab it because I saw it on the works. I got this one for five pounds. Somebody sends this girl a wrong text, like a wrong number text, but it ends up being his flatmate's sister and she moves in with them and he realizes he likes her. Sounds like a quick read, something to bring on a vacation or something very fast. It got like pretty okay ratings on Goodreads so I was just like yeah why not. Then I also got Fix Her Up by Taylor, nope, Taylor. What? Tessa Bailey. I read It Happened One Summer by her and then I read half of the sequel to that, Hook, Line, and Sinker. Her books are like sometimes good, sometimes bad. Like they're kind of a toss up for me. I thought I would just give this a shot because it was two pounds. It was in like a two for six deal. So I just like kind of had to get it. Otherwise I wouldn't get the deal. He has like a home renovation business and then something like that. We'll see. It's a little big. I don't know why, but her books are really big here. But in the States, they're very thin. Like they're flappy paperbacks. So I don't know why this one seems kind of like a lot of pages. I'm really excited for this one. It's called King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Three of my friends just read it and they were obsessed. So they were putting it all over their story and I was like, well, I think I have to get it. Yeah, it's by the same author as the Twisted series. I think it's about a marriage of convenience and it's probably some sort of like protective mafia. It's always something like that. Ruthless, meticulous, arrogant. My friend said that he's now her number one book boyfriend. So I am excited to read it and find out. I think I'm gonna bring this on my spring break trip. Got this one for five pounds. Then I bought The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This is the latest in the Dreamland Billionaire series. It's the last one. I talked about it in a few of my other vlogs. So you probably already knew that I bought this, but I don't know. I'm just like not super excited to read it. I feel like I heard a lot of bad things. It's really big. It's like 600 pages. I liked Terms and Conditions a lot. Fine print, I was like so-so. This one, I'm not sure. I heard like kind of bad readings. So we'll see if I get around to it, but I did get this one for six pounds. Then, this is kind of a funny story. These four, I found Twisted Games at Target the day before I left for London. The second book in the Twisted series. I hadn't read any of them yet, but I was like, it's better to have one than zero. So I bought that. And then at the airport, I found the fourth, no, the third one. So I bought that too, because I was like, well, I have to have two. So now I have two, as you can see, they're the same size. Then at the works, I found the fourth one, Twisted Lies. I heard this one was the best, we'll see. This is the UK one. And then I got that one. And then I got finally, Twisted Love, both of these two were six pounds. These two, I got them in the US, but they're part of the book haul. But yeah, so these two are the UK ones and then these two are the US ones. So if you can tell, they are like not the same size, which really pisses me off, but it's fine. These are part of the series and these are the standalones because like this one has Twisted series on the side, but these ones don't. I don't know, something about that just bothers me. But yeah, so I got all four Twisted books in the end. I'm gonna probably read this one soon. I heard bad things. I think one of you guys commented on my last video saying this wasn't even good, but I don't know. I just wanna read them all. Like I bought them all and honestly, having three out of the four was not gonna be enough for me. Like I wanna have the whole series. Okay, we're almost done, sort of. Here's one's left. Maybe I'll put this like, so you can see them. This is the done pile, this is the continuing pile. Another Tessa Bailey, three for six deal. I got Tools of Engagement. This one I was not that excited for, but I saw it in a deal, so I was like, I have to get it. So I got this one for two pounds. It's about Bethany, who's like a TV show house flipper or something. I have no idea. I feel like a lot of the things in this haul, I've heard about them briefly on Book Talk, and I was just like, well, I haven't read it yet, so I'll just read them, but not because they're critically acclaimed or anything. I was just like, why not? So I bought this. Let me know if you like it. I don't know if you guys have read that one, but I've definitely seen it on people's channels before. And then when I was in Paris, I bought the flat share. I like the US cover a lot more because it's like the two of them standing in the bedroom. It's like an apartment flat share. Or no, a flat is an apartment, but you know what I mean? Like it's a flat share. They share one bed. It was a pretty good book. I already read it because I got it at Shakespeare and Co. in Paris. They actually stamped it. I got this one for 13 euros. A little pricey. In the end, I ended up giving this book like a 3.75 stars because I really liked the ending. Like the second half of the book got really good and I was reading it so fast, but the first like 150 pages were absolutely miserable for me. I hated it. And I, I don't know like how to rate a book if the beginning was so bad. Like I don't think the author deserves five stars because the ending was good. I swear, like I liked it. I liked the couple. I just... The writing can use some work. And then this is kind of stupid, but I bought the Daisy Jones and the Six copy from the UK because this is my second favorite book of all time. I already read it. I have the US version. If you want to watch one of my vlogs, I read it like in my vlog. It's not like a reading vlog, but I read it in that vlog and I was obsessed. But my copy uh, back home, I've had that copy for like 
over a year and I kept bringing it with me everywhere like multiple vacations multiple trips what at one point before I ever started the book I always bring it as like my TBR but I spilled a whole like hydro flask on it and then my copy back home got like really crispy and crinkly and like this is my favorite book I want a good copy so I bought this from Depop for five pounds I found somebody just selling it it was perfectly good condition like new basically they were so nice it was free shipping I was like five pounds is a great deal because they stopped selling this cover and I didn't want the movie tie-in one because I love the show so far but I'm just like I don't like to have movie covers I don't know I'm kind of weird about that and then I got a million kisses in your lifetime because this was five pounds at the works and I was like I have to get it I have heard mixed things about this I think Sarah Crowley really likes it but Steph Bohr really doesn't like it I don't know I've heard mixed things if it's high school I'm gonna be a little bit like mm. I ended up getting this one just because I saw it and I was like good opportunity to buy it you know all these books pretty much everything in this pile was like discounted in some sort of way compared to the US so I don't feel guilty about buying all these books because I would have bought them in the US anyways and I would have spent like hundreds of dollars but instead I spent like maybe 50 total I'm not sure how quick of a read it'll be I hope it's kind of fast because I just feel like a lot of the books in this pile I'm hoping are like quick romance books because that's what I'm in the mood for right now oh I have another book that's not here I have to talk about. Okay, I'll talk about it next. But the book that's not in this pile because I'm letting my friend borrow it right now. I bought My Dark Vanessa at Waterstones for £9. I already finished it. It was five stars, literally one of the craziest books I've ever read. I 100% recommend it. In my last vlog, you can hear me talking about it more because I read it during that vlog. But I think about that book like pretty much every day. I would definitely recommend getting it. I wish she was here with us today, but I didn't want to go grab it for my friend just for this one video. But hope you don't mind the photo of it. Even though I wish I could add it to the stack because it's so cool to have this huge stack. I love having like my little prop next to me. Then I bought Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Funny story, I actually came to the UK with a copy of this. It was the blue one because I got it for Christmas and then I saw this one at Shakespeare & Co for 16 euros. Oh my god, why did I buy this? I don't know, but something about... Let me get the sticker off. Oh my god. No. I just like tore off the paint on the book that's not my fault like i was just trying to get the sticker off okay anyways that's really unfortunate so the back now has like that's really unfortunate after all this anyways so i saw this at shakespeare and co and i really liked the yellow and i was like if i'm gonna own the book i kind of want to own the cuter copy so i got the yellow one and i gave the blue copy to my friend i don't know why i feel like record collecting like you know vinyls and stuff like i never understand that i'm just like you know you can listen to the album on spotify like i know having physical copies like i understand that but I'm also just like, oh, like record collecting makes no sense to me. Like you're wasting so much money. My version of record collecting is books. Like if I want a different copy of a book, I'll buy it. Like Daisy Jones, I'll buy it. Everything I know about love, I'll buy it. Like <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'll never be free of book collecting. Like it's like my hobby. This is like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's definitely falling. Oh my God, she can't take much more. All right, three left. I then got The Roommate from The Works. I got this for two pounds in the deal. The cover in the US is like pink and it has like these two real people on the cover. This one is so much better. It's more conspicuous, but it's about a girl who, wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, is this the same book? Yeah, so the girl in this book, she moves in with a guy, I guess they're just roommates from across the hall, and he ends up being like a porn star or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think I heard someone said this was good spot scenes, so I'm excited. <sighs> I'm almost done guys. All right. Lastly, as I mentioned in the very beginning, it's at the bottom of this pile. I started reading Magnolia Parks when I got to the UK and I absolutely loved it, but that was the only one that I had. I really needed to buy the second and the third. I know there's four total, but I just don't really want to pay for the fourth one. So I got the second and the third and I got them from the book depository. I think it's based in the UK, but if you guys have ever wanted a UK copy of a book, like for example, I really like My Policeman, like the UK cover is really cute to me, but I don't like the US one. So back in New York, I ordered the My Policeman copy from book depository and they send you the UK copies they're pretty cheap and I got the second and the third Magnolia Parks books I got Daisy Hates and Magnolia Parks Long Way Home as you can see these are really big <laughs> I'm not getting it out of the stack but the real Magnolia Parks from the US is like half the size of this so they're not even just like a twisted series but it's fine I'll make do it's just like these books are so big the font is just so small and like the pages are so big and long it's just like oh my god anyways I'm currently reading this but like not actively I started it like a couple days ago and I haven't gone back to it yet but I want to just get to this one because I love Magnolia and BJ and the back is so cute with the necklace but that is so freaking big like this is gonna take me ages to read they're like the size of textbooks oh my god I love when I hold my books like this I'm just like look <laughs> I don't know if I can do that don't fall 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 don't f
you've made it to the end of the video you've officially seen the big book stack turned around so now you know everything i bought thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed just like a chill little it's actually raining outside right now so little rainy day video i am so happy with all my new books don't know how i'm gonna put them in my shelves actually you know what this video is kind of short so i will show you me putting them in my shelves that's the next part of this video let's organize these books. I think I'm gonna put the Magnolia Parks books right here because I need some more space. I don't know if you can really see. So I have a lot of rom-coms that I just showed you that I don't really care too much about. So I'm gonna put them, I think, on my desk. I am literally so sad about this book, like the way that I just ripped it in front of you guys. Like, what happened? I'm gonna put the first Magnolia Parks right there, Malibu Rising, Everything I Know About Love, right here. And there's room for one more, so I'm gonna add maybe a million kisses in your lifetime. Will that fit? No. I'm gonna put like a skinny paper back in there. Okay, I'll put the roommate right here. I'll show you after, don't worry. I'm gonna put a final offer on top because yeah, it's kind of big and it's like better if I put it upwards than sideways. I wanna keep all the Anna Huang books together. I think these are too heavy, like they're too long. They have to go sideways like that. So I'm gonna put these three on top. Or wait, I don't know if I like that. That's better. Then I'm gonna put Daisy, The Flat Share, and Million Kisses. Oh. Wait, can I do that? The flat share right there. I'll put Daisy next to that. Just scooch these books in. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Million Kisses in Your Lifetime up here. Mr. Wrong Number right here. And then the two Tessa Bailey books I'm gonna put on my desk. This is the finished product with all my books. And then the two Tessa Bailey books are right there. I know my desk is really messy. And then when my dog Vanessa is back in her little home, she will go maybe right there. Slay, I'm actually surprised I got them all to fit. And I feel like they look kind of identical on both sides. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye.